Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carla and since January 2020, I have lost 183 pounds, which is about 13 stone. I've done that through being in a consistent calorie deficit and walking. And one of the questions that I get asked the most is about what type of foods that I ate in order to lose 183 pounds. And honestly, one of my number one foods that I love to eat, which sounds so ridiculous and so stereotypical, but it's true, it's salads. I absolutely adore salads and have eaten them the entire way through my weight loss journey. And today what I thought I might do is share my three favorite salads with you. Well, technically there are two of my favorite salads and a new one that I've developed recently. All of my salads are within about the three to 500 calorie mark. The reason I don't have the exact calories for each of them is because depending on the weight and the amount of food. And that's one of the brilliant things about salads is that you can adapt them to suit you. So you might not add as many nuts if you're on a lower calorie deficit or calorie amount, or you might add more if you're on a higher calorie amount. Same thing with avocados or with any of the ingredients in any of these salads. The first salad that I'm going to show you today is probably my favorite salad of all time. And this will be in constant heavy rotation on my menu. And that is a vegan taco salad. I make this one a taco salad with vegan mincemeat, but you could also make it with vegan chicken and make that a fajita salad. It's really adaptable and you can add and remove any of the ingredients that you don't like. And as I said, you can adapt the amount of ingredients for your calorie limit. So without further ado, let's get in and make our taco salad. So the first thing I'm going to make is the mince meat or the mince beef, but of course being vegan, we're using vegan mince. Uh, that's gonna go on top of our taco salad. Right here now, I'm gonna add into my pan that's got some spray oil, just some red onions, just one medium red onion. And I'm gonna let that cook down first. When that's cooked down and becomes translucent, I'm also going to add in the stalks of some coriander and some fresh garlic, which has just been chopped. So, but I'm gonna wait for that for those onions to just become translucent. Now that my onions are translucent, I've just added in my mincemeat. I'm using vegan mincemeat by the Meatless Farm Company. And I'm just going to let that cook down now and brown a little bit. I decided not to add in the garlic or the coriander just so it wouldn't burn while I'm cooking the Mince meat. We're just going to wait for that for a few minutes. So now that the vegan meat has cooked down a little bit, I'm added in the garlic and the coriander, and now I'm going to squirt in about two tablespoons of tomato puree. Now that that's mixed in as well, I'm going to add in some taco seasoning. Any taco seasoning will do. If you don't have taco seasoning, you can also just make up your own. I'm going to add in about half a sachet of taco seasoning. This is for two people. I'm going to throw half of it all over the counter as well. I'm gonna add in a tiny little bit of extra cumin and some smoked paprika because we like it smoky. And then the final thing that I'm gonna add into this is a vegan oxo cube. This is the beef oxo cube, obviously vegan, but this is gonna add a real beefy flavor to it. And I'm gonna to top that all over the beef, the mince, the vegan mince, whatever you want to call it. And now that that's mixed in, I'm going to deglaze the pan with a tiny little bit of hot water. That, that's gonna help melt down the oxo cube and disperse the flavor all the way through the vegan mincemeat. Now that that's all cooked up, I'm just gonna let it caramelize a little bit on the bottom just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And then we are finished with our taco mince and we're just going to assemble our salad now. So the first thing we're going to add, the first thing I'm going to add to our salad is a homemade pico de gallo. In here, I just have chopped up some cherry tomatoes with spring onion, garlic, tons of salt and pepper, and some coriander. And I've let that marinate since I started making this. So it's been marinating now for about 15 minutes and that's just gonna let the lime juice cook the garlic so it's not as potent. And 
on our salad here we just have a bed of butter lettuce mixed with iceberg all of the salads are for two people so that's why I'm not using the entire I love some sweet corn and I'm just going to use some tinned sweet corn just half a small can next up we've got some cheese just some this is the via life smoky cheese it is one of my favorite it's actually comes in a slice and we just chop it up I like it spicy so I'm adding in quite a few chopped pickled jalapenos on top of them I'm just gonna add one of these small avocados I love these ones they're like portion sized avocados you can't get salsa very easily in Ireland but this is my favorite one that we can get this is the San Marcos green salsa or salsa verde and I am gonna put quite a bit of this onto my salad the very last thing that I'm gonna put on is our cooked mince or taco mince you could also use uh, a vegan chicken and fry it up with some sliced peppers and sliced onions to make a fajita or you could also use black beans or pinto beans as well if you didn't want to use a mock meat one final squirt of lime all over the top sometimes I like to add a little do dollop of the Alpro Greek style yogurt this is a vegan yogurt you could use vegan sour cream you could make your own cashew sour cream or you could omit this completely it's not necessary but this is the final product and the second salad that I'm going to share with you today is my pear pecan and blue cheese salad obviously this is a vegan salad because I am a vegan but you could substitute this in with regular blue cheese if that was allowed for in your diet this is a fantastic salad at any time of year and what I love about it is that it has a warm element and you'll find that with each of my salads I like to have a warm element to it I just think it adds more depth of flavor and just a little bit more interesting with this one we have some boiled and cooled um, baby new potatoes as well as these amazing crispy smoky delicious pecans you only need a small amount of them just to add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of hint with every time that you're picking up your fork this is an incredible salad and I really hope you enjoy it on a low heat here we have 30 grams of pecans and basically we're going to caramelize them now so the first thing I'm going to add in is about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and that just goes all over the pecans a couple of shakes of smoked paprika and some dried rosemary also going to add in some salt and then the last thing is two teaspoons of maple syrup this is really good quality maple syrup going to mix these around and I actually have this you'll see here it's on parchment paper and the reason that I have it on parchment paper is so that they can caramelize but they're not going to ruin the pan you could probably also do this in the air fryer as well I'm going to assemble the salad now and here we have a bed of baby gem lettuce I'm going to add three small boiled and chopped up new potatoes I'm going to also add about 100 grams of cherry tomatoes and about a quarter of a cucumber on top. Next of all, we have one conference pear that's been chopped up. We've got about a tablespoon of pomegranate seeds. It's about 9 grams or 10 grams of vegan blue cheese, which just has been chopped up, and we're just going to add that to the top of the salad, as well as the one chili. some spring onion and now we have our finished and beautifully candied pecans so they're just going to go on top this is for two people so it's about 15 grams of pecans per person top off the salad I'm going to be using a mix of pomegranate molasses and aged balsamic vinegar
top it off with a sprinkle of salt and some cracked black pepper. And that's it. The pear, blue cheese and candied pecan salad is all done ready to be devoured. And finally guys, I have a brand new salad which is a five spice duck salad or an Asian duck salad. Obviously, as I am vegan, I don't eat duck, but I'm using Linda McCartney's shredded duck, which you can get in the freezer. If you can't get that though, you could definitely use uh, jackfruit. You could use jackfruit in this recipe, just dry it out really well, and then put it on the pan with the five spice and the same different, same ingredients that I have. This is the newest salad that I developed and I absolutely adore it. It's so tasty and so flavorsome. I love Chinese five spice. You will find that in many, many of my recipes. And that's something that you can add that's basically calorie free. It's not gonna cost you any calories. So you can add that to dishes just to bump up the flavor, but that's going to go in with our uh, shredded duck. But as I said, if you don't have duck, you can use jackfruit as well or something similar. I know that Linda McCartney also has a shredded chicken, so you might like that. And if you're in the States or somewhere where you don't have Linda McCartney, as I said, you can use jackfruit or maybe there might be an alternative available to you. And maybe leave them down in the comments below if, uh, if you have an alternative. So let's jump in and we're gonna make this salad together. So in my pan, I have a low heat and I just have some frozen ginger and garlic. I like to use frozen ginger and garlic because it's really easy to prepare. I also have the fresh stuff as well, but sometimes this is midweek, I'm a little bit tired. Um, I just wanna get some dinner on. So that's in first. So I'm just adding in half a bag of the Linda McCartney vegetarian shredded hoisin duck. And I'm just going to mix that in with the ginger and the garlic and just cook that up. And just on top of the shredded duck while it's cooking, I'm just gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder and mix that in as well. So we're gonna let this cook now and then prepare our salad. And now we're gonna make our salad dressing. In the bowl, I have the juice of one fresh orange. I'm gonna add in about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. The same of Chinese five spice a dash of white pepper, some ground ginger, some sea salt. This is Malden salt, it's our favorite. Just a good pinch. Then I'll take our teaspoon again and one teaspoon of sesame oil and about one teaspoon of maple syrup. And finally, for a bit of tang, we'll add in two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar. And give it a good stir, and that's your dressing. Now we're going to assemble our salad. So here we have in the bowl, we have a base of a mix of iceberg and baby gem lettuce. You can use whatever lettuce that you want. First things first, we're gonna put in some coriander and then one sliced spring onion onto the bed. Next, for a pop of color and a little bit of crunch and a little bit of fruitiness, we're gonna get some pomegranate seeds. Next, I'm gonna take some red peppers and just pile them up. On top of that, we're gonna take some red cabbage or purple cabbage, depending on what country you're in. Pop that on top. And then on my board here, I have a few things. So I'm gonna add in some pickled beetroot, some chilies, cause I like it spicy, and a little bit of avocado. Then I'm gonna take a small handful of cashews and just crush them on top. Again, for a little crunch and add a little bit of fat. Finally, our duck is nice and crispy now. So I'm gonna take half of this because this salad is for two people. And I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. And our very last bit then is our beautiful salad dressing that we made. And we're just gonna pour that on top. 
and then enjoy. Okay guys, that is the end of my video and the three different salads that I have eaten or two I've eaten throughout my entire weight loss journey and one that I developed just recently. I really hope you like them and I hope that you might make them at home. And if you do, please let me know how you get on in the comments down below. If you would like to see any other particular video topics from me or any video ideas, I'd love to hear from you and you can leave them in there down below. If you'd like to follow along on my journey, I update on Instagram every single day. I'm pretty active over there and you can just search half of Carla. And don't forget to give me a subscribe here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you turn on the subscribe and the little notification bell as well. So thank you so much guys and I will see you next week with a brand new video.